الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا. So continuing in the attributes or the what uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran or who he used to describe as true men, the story of the believer of Fir'aun. Uh, Fir'aun, as we know that he, Sayyidina Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Sayyidina Musa to uh, Fir'aun. Fir'aun was the king at that time. And he was a very, he was a very tough king. He, he was a very big disbeliever, he used to attack, like he used to kill all the believers, etc. So he had a cousin, and that's the believer of Al Fir'aun. The verse says, uh, and a believing man of Fir'aun's people who hid his faith said, What will you slay? Why, uh, what? Will you slay a man because he says, My Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And indeed, he has brought to you clear arguments from your Lord. The story is that Fir'aun, when they came and they wanted to kill Sayyidina Musa, so that's when he stood up and said, Why are you killing a man? just because he believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is a moment Ala Fir'aun, he was a believer for a long time. And he was the cousin of Fir'aun, one of his very close uh, advisors. He hid his faith for many years, till it came a moment where he said no. When he saw that this, they, they're trying to kill Sayyidina Musa, that's when he broke his silence and said, why are you killing a man? Because he says he worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The points learned from here is that not all what you know you have to say. He has been a believer for a long time. But it was not, he didn't, he didn't feel that that's the right moment. He shouldn't come out and say, I'm a believer. They're just going to kill him. So he hid his faith for some time. So not all what you know you should say. And not what you know every time is okay for it. He chose the right moment when they're trying to kill one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messengers. And that's when he said it. Number two is he has he was not afraid. He came out in front of everyone. Why are you killing Sayyidina Musa? So not to be afraid uh, of saying the truth. The last uh, story is also regarding Sayyidina Musa. Sayyidina Musa, uh, when the people wanted to kill him, so a man found out. So he the people were going in a certain path. So that man tried to find a certain another shorter path to reach to the Prophet Musa. To reach Prophet Musa. And he told him, or the verse says, and the man came running from the remotest part of the city. Or like he came from the remotest, the farthest part in the city. He said, O oh Musa, surely the chiefs are consulting together to slay you. Therefore, depart at once, depart right now. Surely I am of those who wish well to you. I wish you the well of everything. The lessons learned from this is number one, he heard something. So he didn't say, I mean, like, what do I have to do? It's just, what? Like, let me just stay at home. It's none of my business. He knows that people hate him or they want to kill him, so let him deal with it. He didn't say that. He knew something. He took action. He went quickly to Prophet Musa السلام, and he tried to get the most shortest path to reach Sayyidina Musa. So he took action. He was wise in taking which action he should take. And when he reached Prophet Musa, Prophet Musa he didn't just tell him, you're trying to slay him. So, I, that's what I know. No, he told him that and he gave him advice. Depart at once, you have to leave right now. So he took action, and a wise action, and when he reached Prophet Musa, Prophet Musa السلام, he gave him the advice. So from all these stories, what do we conclude? We, the message today is that, Islam at this moment and at every moment, it needs true men. And when we find or when we have these true men, that's what's going to change the status of Muslims and Islam all over the world. When we have these attributes and true men, we have to, that will change everything. We have to look into the Quran and see the signs or the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are these attributes that we're looking for? What are these things that we need to have? The other point is that Besides our inside purity and being truthful with our covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have a responsibility towards our community. We have to care for the community around us. We have to wish them all the best. We have to be consistent in trying to deliver the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
these were the uh, points that I was trying to get across today and uh, inshallah all of us will read more in the Quran and try to get more signs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.